Okay, in this last session, we are going to look at exercises on counting techniques. Let's have a look at the first exercise. Seven athletes compete in the finals of a 100 meter race. In how many ways can seven lanes be assigned to the seven athletes? So here we are working with um, seven athletes, seven lanes, and the ordering is important. This will then be seven factorial. And that is equal to 5,040. Then the second one, in how many ways can the gold, the silver, and the bronze medals be awarded? So we have seven athletes. Only three of them can receive a medal. And the ordering in which they receive these medals are important. So this is a permutation. Seven, permutation three. Um, and by definition, that's equal to 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial. You will see that I write 7 factorial as 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. And the reason for that is it makes it a lot easier because then I can cancel out the two 4 factorials. And this answer then is equal to 210. Okay, then exercise two. A research or a market research firm has advertised to find three field workers to assist in a market survey that has to be conducted. Ten applicants of similar age and no experience applied for the position. So the first question is, in how many ways can the market research firm appoint three field workers from this group? Because the level of appointment for these three selected um, applicants will be the same, the order is not important. So this is an example of combinations where we select a sample of three out of ten. Okay, so that is then ten combination three. We can also write it as 10 combination 3. Okay, and again, the 7 factorials can cancel out. So we have 720 divided by 3 factorial, which is 6. And that's equal to 120. Now, of the 10 applicants, 7 are female and 3 are male. If the 3 applicants are selected randomly, in how many ways can 1 female and 2 males be selected? So I have a pool of 7 females and I want to select one of those. And then I've got a pool of 3 males and I want to select 2 of, of those. And making use of the basic counting rule, I can multiply these two. 7 combination 1 is equal to 7. 3 combination 2 is equal to 3. So this is equal to 21. And then in question 3, we combine the previous two. If the three applicants are selected randomly, what is the probability that one female and two males are selected? So we know from the first question um, that there are 120 ways of selecting three people randomly out of 10. And from question um, 2, we know that there are 21 possible ways of selecting one female out of the seven, two males out of the three. So this probability is then equal to 0 0.175. Okay, exercise three is a classical example on counting techniques of probability. In a class of 30 school children, what is the probability that at least two of the children will share a birthday? So we want to find the probability that at least two share a birthday. 
Okay, to find that probability straight away is not so easy. But if we recognize that it's easier to find um, the probability of the complement, then we can easily find this probability. So we can write it as 1 minus the complement. And the complement, no children share a birthday. Okay, so let's first concentrate on this complement. No children share a birthday. Now, if I represent my 30 children each with a little block, there are 365 possibilities for the first child to have a birthday. Then, to find the number of ways in which 30 children can have um, different birthdays, we can now say that the second child um, can have a birthday on any one of the remaining 364 days of the year. Okay, and then the third child, except for the first two um, birthdays, that child has a possibility of three, six, three days of the year. And then for the fourth one, and up until the very last one, so for the 30th child in this class, um, that child can have a birthday on any one of the remaining um, three, three, five days of the year. So this is the number of ways in which 30 children can have their birthdays on 30 different days. And now to find the probability, we want to divide it by the total number of days um, or the total number of ways in which 30 children can have their birthdays. Okay, so that will be 365 for the first um, position, 365 for the second one, and that would be the same for all of them. So the number of ways uh, in which 30 people can have their birthdays if there are no restrictions on whether there are repetitions or not. So we can rewrite it as um, 365 permutation 30 divided by 365 to the power 30. Okay, so that is 365 factorial over 3, 3, 5 factorial. So that is um, 3, 3, 6, 5 permutation 30 can be written like that. And then I divide it by 3, 6, 5 to the power 30. So I can write it as 3, 6, 5 to the power 30. And that probability is equal to 0 0.2936. So to get back to our original question, to find the probability at least to share a birthday, that will then be 1 minus our answer at the bottom. Zero point seven zero six or 70 comma 6 percent. So almost a 71 percent chance that in a group of 30 people, that at least two of those people will share a birthday.